What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are all having an absolutely fantastic day. I know I am. I promise. I know yesterday I said today's video would be about like the lady we hired to come get the ghost out of my house. That being said, all my roommates are still asleep because yesterday was Halloween. So it's instead I'm going to be telling the story of a time this kid got his head stuck in a class chair, like one of those plastic ones, all for a little bit of internet clout. And uh, yeah, it should be a pretty fun video. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So <clears throat> it's, it's so good, it's not good. Nice rack and her ass Brazilian just turned 21, but my bank's a million. Swear I'm a little drunk, but it's all right. So, this story takes place in middle school, and as I've said a couple times, I actually was in middle school right around the time that like social media started to come out, dude. So, people were still doing really stupid things for clout. Like, I watched the planking trend where people would just lay all the way down and get points for it on the internet, dude. It was weird, but regardless, there was this one kid in my class that you know, for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna name Jeremy, and Jeremy was the type of kid who would do literally anything for attention, dude. Like, if somebody found a hot dog in the trash can and they were like, all right, dude, eat it uh, because I want you to. He was the type of guy that would just go, okay, no problem, and just start eating hot dog trash cans or like trash can hot dogs. I got that a little backwards, but that was the type of kid he is. And regardless, one day we're sitting in class and one of our teachers left the room for something. I don't remember exactly why they left, but as soon as they left, somebody next to me looked at this Jeremy kid and said, hey, I bet you you can't get your head through the hole in the chair. And uh, I don't know if it was just this class or like because our school was kind of broke, but we had little kid chairs in middle school. For some reason, they were like the really small chairs. And sure enough, Jeremy looks at it and he's like, okay, what will you give me if I get my head through it? And the person who was daring him is like, look, I'll give you $5 and I'll post it on my page, which has a bunch of followers or whatever. And Jeremy is like, okay, well, how many people do you think will see it? And he says that around 2,000 people see my post every time I post it. So Jeremy decides that apparently that's worth it to him and he gets down and he like puts the top the crown of his head against this hole in the chair and just starts pulling the chair onto his neck almost like he's trying to put on a necklace and I really wouldn't recommend this at home dude and he's like oh like really struggling to get it in and everybody's just kind of watching him laughing at him and finally almost like with a pop the chair kind of goes bump over his head and then is now stuck on his neck which you know as far as chains go a little kid chair definitely is the least intimidating thing ever dude if I'm ever watching a music video and like one of the dudes walks out with a kindergartner chair that's it I'm packing it up and I'm clicking off but for some reason uh, as soon as the chair is on his neck he stands up and starts laughing and everybody's laughing with him and sure enough the person who dared him to do it they give him the money and they're like wow dude that was super awesome and so far everything about this story is going good right exactly this is when things start to go dramatically wrong so keep in mind at this point he literally has the chair on his neck it is on his neck like it is in chain mode and so he decides that it's time to take it off. Everybody gets their picture and whatnot. Everything's going well. And when he goes to take it off, um, he can't. It had like, he had popped it over his head and then the hole had gone around his neck, but now he couldn't get it back off, if you're picking up what I'm saying. And uh, the reason he couldn't is because before he was using his head as like kind of leverage, but trying to pull it up over is like just stretching his neck out. You know what I'm saying? He can't get it out. And at first he's staying calm. He's telling everybody that he's gotten into situations like this before, which I think he thought made him sound cool, but genuinely just made him sound really dumb, dude. Like I'm sitting there like, oh, you've been in this situation situation before you're telling me that you know this is the second time you've managed to get your head stuck in a plastic chair dude if that is the case I think that you just need to stay home from now on you probably need some homeschooling like he was genuinely bragging about the fact that this is not the first time he's gotten his head stuck in a plastic chair and he's staying calm and just trying to pull it off but I can tell by the look on his face that he's like starting to panic a little bit because it's just not coming off this head is stuck or this chair is stuck on this dude's head you just can't get it off and he's pulling and he's trying to stay calm and finally after about like two minutes of trying to pull this chair off his head He starts freaking out and he's like guys. I can't get it off guys I can't get it off like I'm being honest with you guys I I can't get it off I don't know what to do and once he started freaking out It was really over because then he just started crying and pulling harder on the chair Which didn't actually do anything because like it was stuck So he's just hurting himself more because he can't get the chair off of his neck So he's crying and freaking
freaking out and he's like having a breakdown because he thinks that he's gonna be stuck in the chair forever. He's like, I don't want to have to go to prom with the chair on my neck. Keep in mind, we're all in middle school. Prom is a far way away. And finally, after a bit, our teacher comes back in and she sees this kid just full on crying with his head stuck in a chair. So she starts asking what happens. And sure enough, we all explain that like he got dared to stick his head in the chair and he did it. And I will never forget the look of disappointment on our teacher's face, dude. You know when you've ever just done something so stupid and an adult sees you and they just can't fathom how few brain cells you have? That was low-key the look on her face. Like, we had disappointed this teacher plenty at this point in the year, but the disappointment when she comes back in after leaving for like 30 seconds and the chaos that we had gotten up to was getting a kid straight up stuck in a chair. No wonder she hated us, bro. I used to be like, oh, I wonder why she's so mean to kids. I'd be annoyed too if I left for 20 seconds and I come back and they had convinced somebody to get their head stuck in a kindergartner plastic chair. Anyways, she goes over to the kid and starts like trying to help him get his head out of the chair, but she can't get it off because once again, like the way that it's on his neck now, if you pull on it, it's basically like trying to pop his head off like an action figure and that's just not a good thing. So she goes ahead and like calls the principal's office and explains the situation. So all the deans and the principals, all the assistant principals, like the janitors, everybody's in here trying to get this stupid chair off this kid's head and at this point he's like so embarrassed that he stopped crying he's just hiding his head in shame because everybody is still in the class dude like literally the entire staff is trying to pop the chair off of this kid's head and they just can't hi i'm interrupting the video for a second there's a 25 dollars roblox gift card on screen right now i give one away every day just to say thank you for being subscribed if you're not already subscribed then you should apparently 50 percent of my viewers aren't subscribed so uh you should press the button it's free you can always turn it off and i give away a gift card every day so i mean why not yolo turn on notifications while you're at it and without further ado let's get back to the dumb kid with a chair on his head so now with everyone crowded around him trying to get it off dude they quickly realize that it's just stuck there's nothing they can do like this kid had really managed to get this chair straight up stuck on his noggin i don't know what his plan was so the principal finally is like all right we have to call the fire department and the kid starts crying because he realizes that like he's definitely gonna get in some type of trouble for this bro you can't just have the fire department come to get a chair off your neck and have the principal be like, damn, just another Tuesday. I don't think that's what happens. So sure enough, the fire department ends up coming and they had to cut the chair off this kid. Like they had to bring in one of their special little tools and break the plastic chair so that way they could get it off of a man. And I don't know how relieving it had to have been when that plastic chair finally got off of him, but I'm gonna guess that was like one of the best feelings ever, dude. Just finally having that chair off you. But imagine the shame of having like eight firefighters, dude. They could be saving a house on flames right now. And nah, they had to come to the school because you were too stupid to not get your head stuck in a plastic chair. I don't know how some people manage to live with the shame of these situations, but hey, it happens. Real talk though, he never got his chair or his head stuck in a chair again, so I guess he learned his lesson. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to press the like button. Go ahead and comment the word chair down below if you found this video entertaining or if you ever think you would personally try to stick your head in a chair just so I can get a body count of uh, how many people are dumb enough to actually do this. Real talk though, if you're new, subscribe, turn on notifications. I post videos like this every day. Get yourself some of the OG Sub Club or HaHa ha merch. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys all next time with another video. Don't get anyone pregnant. If you do, make sure they're hot. And hopefully I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Peace. Oh, and follow Scrubby Stories on TikTok, by the way. Great content. 10 out of 10.